Hi everyone, this is a quick tutorial to show you how to do hair. Um, I'm not going to use cans only because otherwise this place is going to get all smoked up and I still got to do some work, so I'm going to do that. But I'm going to do all the, all the big masses with spray cans and then I'm going to use Bosco pens to do all the lines, which would be thin lines anyway. So whether I use a can or marker pen for this demonstration, it won't matter. Right, um, what you want to do, whenever you're painting hair, say women's hair for example, you want it to be like a full body of hair, you want it to have those big curls kind of thing. And um, a lot of the time, especially when I started, um, I used to do this this um, this thing a lot, and I see people that are struggling a bit with hair are doing the same thing. You think, all right, if I put loads of you know loads of lines and stuff, it's going to look cool. But that does the opposite. The more you put lines, the more you create um, kind of like a flat look, and then that looks um, that's a great look when you're doing wet hair. But if you're doing say if you're doing wet hair on a woman with long hair, it has to go down. If you go to curls and you're doing loads of, loads of lines, then that doesn't work, that kind of makes the hair look like it feels greasy, because it kind of looks like it's wet and it's got um, a shine to it, but at the same time, it's still wavy, as opposed to being heavy with the, the water and going down, so it doesn't look good. And the worse it looks, the more you add some curls and stuff, and the less it, you know, whatever. What you want to do is, you want to create your, your shapes first, um, this is an astro. When um, if if you um, if you're not really comfortable with an astro, which is a big uh, a big spray, whatever for details, that's cool. But whenever you're doing hair, um, get an astro, get a fat cap, get a New York fat, get all that stuff. Um, those are really good because you want this, you know, this jet. If you have to use those, the ones that come with the can. It's kind of small, it's kind of limited. I can't really do what I want. You want something that's just gonna go, you know, control is not, um, it's not, uh, it's not required at this point, so it doesn't matter. So if you feel, mm, it's, uh, fat caps and whatever, don't worry, that's what you want. So, say, say for this girl, for example, what I do is I, I would wanna angle it, I wanna angle the can. So if I just go straight down, I'll just get a straight line, but I want to get a flare. By the way, I might be going over those tags I just did. I uh, just want to give a shout out to this man, J Art and Crino. Crino? There we go. <laughs> just in case I go over them, at least have a shout out. Right. Nice. So what do you want to do? I'm going to focus just. So angle it this way, so then you're going to get a nice sharp line, a big fade. You see, that gives you like a, a, a nice fade. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Then you can add something like this. So by doing this, say underneath, this is obviously my style, but I think something kind of messy in the background and I think something clean. But if you want to get it, Obviously, don't copy my stuff. If you want to get it all nice and um, photo real, like all of this would be a different shade of uh, of the hair, like a beige, a brown, whatever. <coughs> so what you would do is you would see this hard line, and then it would fade into the other line. So that would give you. Actually, I'll do it now. Instead of yapping, um, use a beige. All right, I'll actually do it the other way, so then this will. Um, the, the other one. So again, I'm, I'm, I've got the can this way, so it's going to shoot down as opposed to uh, um, towards the wall. So I'm going to get a nice hard line and a fade. So these will interact, will work with each other. You see, they're blending already. Now what I have to do is maybe get another one, and another one maybe. I mean, I'm not trying to make it look cool now, I'm just trying to explain. So this is what you get, you get those kind of waves, but they're big. They're not, um, 
<coughs> you see, you just want to put your hand in the hair, it just kind of feels smooth, and it's, um, it's where you want to get to. And then, it's probably still a bit wet. Getting smoky in here. Then you want to grab your boskers, but obviously if you're painting uh, in the street or whatever, you may just be using cans. Uh, <coughs> wear a mask. And what you want to do is, um, you want to add some definition, but only in certain places. So wherever you're going to put some darks, put them where they're really dark, and you're going to put some highlights only where they really need it. You don't put, you don't put any, um, any dark tones or mid-tones where you could do without. So, for example, on this part here, it would be kind of like the top. This would actually be um, a lighter color. Let's see if I've got a lighter. Ah, and no, it's not. Okay, so, right. I could cover all of this with this lighter color. What I will do, it will just kill the, um, the, the, the 3D element to it. So what you want to do is just put it right there where it's absolutely needed. But here, I'm not bothering. Again, you wouldn't see this background, you'd have your hair. So this would be like a, a shade of, a slightly darker shade of beige brown, whatever the color is, and um, but you only put the, the highlights here. And as far as the brown, for example, I'm going here, I'll just add some lines right there. But I don't want to go too crazy, like that's enough. That's cool, maybe a bit there. See, I'm already not putting too many. Now, it's like three compared to loads there. That's enough. I'm not going to do anything to that. And then I can get um, a darker shade. I think the with Posca's I want to go either brown or dark, but that's just to show you some. Right. And that's about it. I'm not going to put any black here because then I'm starting to go too rigid. When you see the hair, if you try and, <coughs> if you try and get the black hair, the brown hair, the beige hair, it's not going to work because if you see the hair is not like some logs stacked on top of each other where everything is, you know, it's, it's dark, mid-tone and then light. The hair sort of goes into whatever it's doing its own thing. So, some of this hair here is obviously the highlight, but then it's going to the back, and that's becoming it's going to be it's becoming dark. Now this is the highlight, and it's becoming dark here. So you don't want to you just want to do it really messy and kind of you don't want to have any sort of structure. Maybe they're hard to grasp, but what I'm saying is, if you try and make sense too much out of it, it's not going to work. You gotta do it a bit loose, you know, and um. See on this one, a bit of white. I could put some white on there. But again, it's only, it's only here, just a little bit, that's enough. That's cool. You can maybe like, from here, I can have this one for example. Going to the top, if I choose, if I choose to. It would be like, so I'm down. And then I'm getting the point. Bam. Then, when you come back with this. You really have to feel it, you really have to kind of like move back and take it on in. I'm just thinking maybe here I could get a bit darker. 
to get like some kind of waves come on like this maybe I could work on some different and also <coughs> when you're doing the flaring I'm gonna have to stop in a minute when you're doing the flaring technique it really works when you're doing um, when you're doing hair so see if I want if I want a big thick looking body of hair right now going into uh, going into a point to show like the more detailed more defined lines <coughs> simply what I do is I just do the flaring like when you're doing tags and you flare like going from up and then actually touching the cap on the wall or going very close like this if um if you're doing this as you as you turning as you're swerving then it looks really cool so you got this kind of business see how I start here and I finish here so then that gives me a nice blur but as I get closer I get a hard lines going into this kind of thing and then I'm swerving at the same time I'm doing this kind of S shape and then that looks that looks kind of cool not too sure if the camera's really picking up all of this, but let's maybe add a different color there. My hair would be a bit uh, lighter, so do the same thing. See, it's like all faded, all big and fuzzy, going into a nice point. And same here, again like what I did earlier, instead of going straight down, I could use this technique, but tipping the can, so then that will give me, I will keep this, this nice hard hedge right there, and then it'll, it'll start blurring, but it, it'll start blurring as it turns. So you go, you basically go from here to here, so it will do the fade, but it will get a, a nice line. So you've got, it, it kind of gives you a, a hard line, it fades, it swirls, it does pretty much all of it. And if you, if you look at the hand, obviously to make it look cool and to work on it for a bit longer. <coughs> but I'm probably going to pass out, <laughs> I'm not going to do it. But you get the idea, this is, this is what you do. When, whenever, you, whenever you want to do hair, first of all, there's a big thing that you want to do is you want to get some, you want to grab some magazines and you want to have a look at hair. You want to really study it, just have a look at it, just stare at it, and really try and understand what's going on. If you can understand, you can do it. You know, I always say, in order to paint well, you need to be able to understand what you're seeing. So you see this image, and it's, you know, your eyes are taking it in then you need to translate that to your brain. Once your brain gets it, it can translate it to your, to your hands, and then you can do it. So don't try and look at it and go, oh, I can't do it. Before you even start painting, look at that picture that you're trying to do. And really try to understand how they work and where the highlights are and stuff. And some things you don't want to put, like um, some things for you in, in a picture, you may see a lot of lines. Don't worry so much about the lines. Do this kind of business, and then as you get, as you progress with the, with the picture, then you can, you know, you can add a couple of things with your thinner cap or whatever. You can go like this. You see this. That's it. It's enough. That's probably even too much right now. But that's because I'm not stepping back, so I'm not really getting the full picture. You see, there aren't any lines here, there aren't any lines here. They're not needed. You, you just put them in certain places. Obviously, when I paint, I do a bit, I move back, do a bit, I move back. Here, I can't really do that. But you get the idea. You, you want to get a general idea of what's going on. And then you only add certain, certain lines where you feel going to benefit the, um, the, the, the swirls, you know, the hair curling and stuff, turning around. You see like in there, that would be um, uh, where are we? 
Okay, see, see like right there? That would be enough if I was doing the hair. I wouldn't really put anything else. The only thing I'd put <coughs> here would maybe be a bit of a highlight kind of thing. A bit like that. Just keep it loose, you know. The hair is like it's a bit like fire, it's just swirling all over the place. Not real pattern, just doing its thing. And that gives you like this, gives you this nice swirling kind of thing. And obviously, as you as you work to, um, towards your final picture, you add all these different tones. And it, help, it helps it um, make it smooth and all that. And then obviously as you progress with your hair, you want to break all of this and just have like some kind of random hair just going around by doing this, you know, just you adding kind of um, realism to your piece. It's not just like a caricature kind of hair. And it just makes it a bit more um, plausible. There you go. If um, if that wasn't oh, let me get this again, <clears throat> if that didn't make enough sense, do let me know in the comments, and I will do another one or, or explain something in particular. This was a tutorial because somebody called I'm not sure what your name is. I'm so sorry, dude from Brazil, I think, uh, wanted to about hair. So whatever you want to learn, just let me know, put it in the comments, and I shall get to it. Feel free to subscribe and like if you like this video, comment, let me know what you think, let me know what you want to see next, and I shall get myself some fresh air before I pass out. <laughs> see you later.